On Christmas 1964, resident Mildred Head awoke with a start. Her ceiling, she later told local journalist Arthur Shuttlewood, had come alive with strange sounds lashing at the roof. It sounded like twigs brushing against the tiles, and the noise grew louder until it reverberated like giant hailstones. Head got out of bed to look out of the window but found nothing there. However, she did hear another noise, a humming sound that grew louder before fading to a faint whisper. It was just the start of what would become a decades-long mystery and a string of UFO sightings known around the world as the Warminster thing. A few hours later, the soldiers at the nearby Nook Camp Army base were awoken by what sounded like a huge chimney stack from the main block, ripped from the rooftop, then scattered across the whole camp at 6.30 a.m. Roger Rump and his wife were stirred by a similar noise. They described it as sounding like the 5,000 tiles on our roof being ripped off and then put back on again with an enormous clatter. Around the same time, Marjorie Bai was walking to church when she was thrown to the ground by the force of savage sound waves. In total, more than 30 individuals reported hearing mysterious noises that Christmas morning, and there was more to come. Strange things continued to happen in Warminster, a town just over 15 miles from Stonehenge, in the new year. In February 1965, an entire flock of pigeons suddenly died. The following month, three families heard loud noises coming from above their houses, their roofs and windows shaking with force. And in June, Warminster residents began to see unidentified objects flying through the sky. Descriptions of the UFOs vary from person to person, with one witness describing what they saw as cigar-shaped and covered with winking bright lights, and another likening it to twin red-hot pokers hanging downwards, one on top of the other, with a black space in between. The unusual events began to receive national attention, and people flocked to Warminster hoping to catch a glimpse of the thing. Over the August bank holiday of 1965, an estimated 8,000 people descended on the small town. The following month, when resident Gordon Faulkner claimed to have captured a photo of the UFO, the Daily Mirror published the picture, garnering even more publicity for Warminster. By that time, the news had even made its way stateside, with newspapers as far as California reporting on the eerie events in the sleepy market town. Sightings and unexplained noises continued intermittently over the coming years, ranging from a ball of crimson light in the sky to a terrible droning sound that made witnesses' floors and beds shake. Interest in the mysterious phenomenon remained strong. Was it extraterrestrial, a cosmic jest, or perhaps just perhaps a portal to realms beyond our ken? The townsfolk whispered eyes to the sky as the enigma wove its spell a symphony of the unknown echoing through time. <laughs>